Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Rogue Tech Cold Forged. So today we're going to take on a five skull mission. So the last episode we uh, outfitted our king crab, but I got a bit of a surprise for you. I changed a few things. Uh, between now and then, I pulled off a couple of missions with our uh, medium lance and generated a whole bunch of sea bills. We needed to do a couple things. The first thing we needed to do was outfit our second catapult which I'm not going to show you right now. I'll show you a little later once we get him in battle. Uh, maybe not in this episode, but certainly in one of the upcoming episodes. So he's out, he's outfitted. Um, and we've added the structural reinforcement upgrade to the ship. What we want to try and do, um, I'll try to do a bit of calculations on how long it's going to take to get to the clans. Way out in the middle of nowhere. It's about eight months of travel time. So it's eight financial reports. And it's about two million roughly two million sea bills in travel costs so we're looking at a lot of sea bills so we're going to need to start generating a ton of sea bills the other thing too is we need to get the, the the drives this next drive system up and running in order to do that we need to get the power systems and the structure up going so the power systems will be next thing we do uh it's like seven hundred and twenty thousand. gives us a couple tech points but uh, that'll these two will be the last two upgrades I think we do on the Argo before we end the series but anyway those two we need to do before we can leave so we're gonna need to generate a lot of sea bills I'll probably just do that off camera because they're just gonna be missions that I'm doing for full sea bills easy runs that are just go in destroy stuff and and leave so um, we'll save that for off camera we're gonna leave all the cool stuff for on camera so today we're gonna to take a mission here let's go right to contracts and we're gonna bring the old the old lands back together which means recall is coming back into the lineup so we're going to take retribution here. It's basically a um, uh, straight up battle against the Free Russell Hague Republic, um, finding the lance and destroying it. Most likely it'll end up being a couple of lances, but we're going to go this route. So let's negotiate this sucker. And we're going to go for full salvage on this one since we're taking, um, it's a five skull mission and stuff. And this is our main lance. We're just going to go for full salvage on the main lance. And we're going to accept this. And we're going to flush out the secondary lance. As you can see, two mechs didn't get even damaged on the last mission that we did. So we're going to bring the Zeus. I'm not going to pilot the King Crab. Um, we're going to bring in the Catapult. We're going to bring in the Warhammer and the King Crab. And what we're going to do is I'm going to take the uh, Zeus like I always have. I'm going to put um, Hickory in the Catapult. And we're going to put... Uh, where are you? We're going to put Recoil in the Warhammer. I know it's not the best, but we're going to put them in the Warhammer. And Pylon gets to, to pilot Mr. Krabs, the King Crab. Um, you know, we he kind of got funneled into the position of being our melee mech pilot, the guy that got shot at all the time. So I'm thinking as a reward for putting up with us for so long, um, you know, he got a few injuries, not very many, I don't think. We can, we can check it out later on, but at least, you know, over halfway through the series, he hadn't had any injuries at all um, other than shell shock. So we're going to let him pilot the King Crab. You know, he doesn't have the best skills for it, but we're going to let him run this. Let's deploy this and get it done. Alright, here we go. So, yeah, I don't know if we're going to have reinforcements. If we do, they're going to be coming from over. Well, maybe we do. Look at that. We've got some nice friendlies over here, or evil guys over there. And a bunch of guys here. I hope we brought enough ammo. 100 ton. Well, we can't let him have that hill up there, so we're going to take that hill. Now, um, what do you need? yeah, the outfit up, for the king crab is actually quite good. Um... We left the uh, the uh, command cockpit in there, but I did change I did change the loadout on it. Um, there was, oh my god, they <laughs> got six assault mechs um, at the request of uh, uh, Fists of Dorn. He go. wanted to see it with the uh, rotary autocannon too, so I put one in each arm plus an extra autocannon two plus in each arm. It's got an ER large clan laser and an IT <laughs> IATM three in it. So let's hope we brought enough rounds for this because that doesn't look like we did. Um, I, I really hope we have enough rounds for all of this. Uh, I think we got like 12 or 13 turns of, of ammunition. So I really hope it's enough. All right, let's get in behind. <laughs> let's get in behind the Warhammer here. So 
so we're going to be hitting with uh, um, 14 rounds of AC2. Yep. Okay, let's not go there. Let's go down here. Understood. Moving fast. We really got to play strategically here. I got to be careful with the amount of arrows we're using. Alright. Nope. Yep. Okay, we're gonna take this hill. Hopefully we can get past these trees this turn, just at least get into here. Stop it. Yeah. Don't know if we're quite ready for this mission. 80 tonner. Maybe we get lucky and they don't have full armor. Zusak say. Eh? So the King Crab doesn't have completely full armor. Pretty darn close. So we're going to be leaning pretty heavily on the Zeus in this one. Okay, that's probably an Ultra 10. Really hitting that Warhammer. I'm under heavy fire. Yeah, I see that. Should have probably reserved back. Oh, of course. Oh, okay. Ultra 22 heavy PPCs. Now this generally this guy, I've been noticed he doesn't fire his heavy PPCs all that often. So this guy's got full armor too. I'll be 20x. Remember I'm 30. Lots of armor on this guy. Um, Waiting for orders. Not a bad chance to hit, though. Um, gonna go with Phantom Mech at this moment. Let's get up here. Just want to ensure that we don't get hit. Uh, we're gonna unload on this guy. Let's just see what these do. Ah, a lot less than I was expecting. I'm sure I'm sure it'll be more devastating at close range. It's okay, man. You're moving next. Commander. Phantom mech it, baby. Um. We can't get stable, so let's make sure we get in the woods here. I'm there. Firing everything on this guy. Aye, aye. Okay, nice. Okay, so let's maximize what we know we can do with these guys. This guy's completely unstable. We have a really good chance to hit. I'm going to Warlord this. I want to try and make sure this guy dies. Um, he doesn't have any defense other than being in the trees, so we're going to fire. Confirm. Oh, I only did 80, man. At least we got the knockdown, though. Yeah, the problem is at this range, this uh, um, level 2, we're facing a lot of good pilots. So they've all got really good chances to hit, right? So let's move in where that guy can't get direct fire on us. Uh, we're not going to use Warlord at this moment, but we will fire everything on this guy. Okay, that guy's gone.
Warning. Enemy sensor lock detected. Yep. Okay, a couple of auto cannons. Don't know what the size they are. Maybe they're just Ultra 5s? Damn it. Taking too much damage. Well, we should be over here anyway next turn. Can't be armor low yet, man. Where? It's weird that that guy doesn't use his heavy PPCs. It's almost like he doesn't know he has them. Where am I armor low here? I don't even know. Okay. Um. Orders. Okay, we got a lot of improved ATMs, so we're gonna just drop some on this guy. There's only three of them. Ah, one hit. Not bad. ATM-6. We're not going to bother shooting the ATM-6, but we're going to get up into here. So we got to pull another one, one more full turn before we're behind the hill and we don't have to worry about these other guys until this guy's... Well, once this guy's dead, that is. We won't have to worry about these guys. Don't fall down. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Nope, not a good enough chance to hit. Confirmed. Like I said, we've got to be careful with our ammo here. Don't hit. Ugh. Stay up. Okay, good. Um, okay. Got to use vigilance on this one. Okay, bacon saved briefly. So we were able to raise a few skills up on our pilots. Uh, pilot got to uh, gunnery 8. Um, cold metals got gunnery 9 now. Look at that guy up there, it's all cocky. Receiving you. Little too close for these rotaries. God. This crab moves so slow though. Yeah, we're gonna go to here. Let's get him going first. See if we can make this guy unstable. Fire everything into him. Yeah, not as good as I was hoping. Hmm. I think recoil might be able to make him unstable here. Maybe. Okay. If we hit him hard enough. Hit him with everything here. Firing full complement on enemy. God, those medium lasers just do nothing. Yeah, see what I mean? Once we get to a certain point over at this hill, there's not much they can really do at this moment. Yeah. 
Okay, girl. Make him unstable for me, please. Make sure you hit, though. Nice. Only 66 damage, though, but he is unsteady. Time to create a hole through the side of this guy, hopefully. Definitely a warlord time, firing everything on his side. Okay, he's heading down. Ultra 20's been crit. Be nice if we can get some more Marauder parts. I think we got like six now, something like that, five or six. Yeah, so he's not using the heavy PPCs, which is weird. I've yet to see these Marauder 2s use them for some reason. Maybe because they're so damn hot, I don't know. Okay, a lot of 100 tonners back there. These two here are for sure 100 tons. Okay, pylon. Can't quite get to the other side, but we can get to the front of this guy. 32% um, chance to hit, really? 30, a little bit better there. A little bit worse there. Alright, well, here it is. Yeah, fire. Yeah, see, I think those heavy PPCs would have probably been better. Oh, Ultra's done. Nice. Pilot injured? Is that what it said, or did he lose it? Not get an injury. Now, question. 92 left. Does this guy have an XL? Uh, no, he does not. But that's where the Ultra 20 is right there. It's got caseless ammo. Maybe we can take that torso. Ready for order. Um, sure, it might be able to. Let's go for the torso and fire. You got it. Okay, I got the torso. Arm. Knock down. He'll be down to one health now. Hickory's just going to reserve. I don't think I want to waste another arrow on this guy. Finally using them PPCs, I see. Okay, let's get over here. See if we can burrow a hole through the side of this guy. I'm gonna fire. Nice. Not quite enough, but he'll die next turn. He's completely on fire here. 147 left. Yep. Um. Right, I guess I should be checking where we are at here. Let's sprint it to here. Copy that. And we're not going to fire, like I said. going to save these uh, missiles for the fresh guys down below. This guy's pretty much crippled right now. Should be able to finish him up with the Warhammer. Okay, so this is guy's going to be our next victim over here, this Hunter Tunner. Um, let's get recoil with the Wait Warhammer. The there we go. That's the side we want. Okay, we're going to leave off the ammo and fire all the lasers. Should be enough, I think. There we go. Target. No sense of doing anything right now. 
So we got a 65 tonner back there. Commander. Uh, I'm just going to walk it up, buddy. On the move. Eighty tonner. Okay, that's good. That does. That's kind of good news. Good news. Okay, so sixty-five, eighty, two hundred. This guy's an eighty and an uh, unknown. We're gonna murder this hundred tonner when he gets around the corner. Okay, getting our heat back. Where are you going now? Oh, you turkey. Okay, so that's another 65 tonner. So two 65 tonners. Okay, we've got to murder these guys, so let's do it. Good to go. Do it the smart way. See if we can get them to come around the corner here. If they come one turn at a time, Ready for orders. they're in for a nasty surprise. Okay, we got our um, Confirm. we got our phantom mech back now. Strangely enough, that's really a huge help on assault mechs. I didn't think, you know, if you have it on your light lighter guys, it's great. But if you have it on your assault mechs too, right? The extra two chevrons of evasion. You know, it's a huge deal. Yep. Nope. Sprint it down here, please. All right, full speed. Okay. Um. Order. Can we get to see that guy? We can. We can engage these guys if we want to, and I think we probably should at this point before everybody's over here. Okay, a private marauder, rotary arcana of five, heavy PPC, wonderful. Oh god, let's just shoot everything on him. Firing. Okay. So we really gotta shoot this guy then pull back. Yes, Commander. Gonna be able to see both of them. King Crab. Ultra tens. Wonder if we should try and try and take this guy's arm. Probably. Let's Copy do it. That. Yeah, those rotaries do so little damage. If they did more stability damage, I could see them being really, really useful. I guess if you had, like, a Jager mech fighting medium mechs, it would probably be better, but... Yeah. Against these heavies and stuff, it's really not... Providing us what we needed here. Okay, now I'm taking a chance with the catapult here, but we gotta do this and try and take this guy's arm. I'm gonna fire. How are we doing here? Oh, it's mostly torso hits. Okay, I'm not gonna use my warlord. I'm just gonna fire everything else though. Not yet anyway, we won't use we won't use the warlord right away. Right into the side of this guy. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. 
We may want to stick it out with these two. I'm under heavy fire here. At least he's splitting his fire. Yeah. No, we're going to pull back up the hill. Definitely going to pull back up the hill. Okay, they're inspired too. So do we have... Standing by. Ready for orders. Nobody can shoot and move, eh? Commander. Oh, wait. No, you can. Um, we're going to do Phantom Mac. We're going to target this guy and fire everything. We're going to do an offensive push, though. And we're going to try for a headshot and just shoot everything. I'll make okay. And then we're going to back up like this. On my way. Okay. Okay, you got ace pilot as well. See, I knew there was a reason why I gave those guys ace pilot. Um, gonna push this guy and go for the torso. And fire everything. Okay, that's that guy gone. Tango down. Mr. Krabs. Good job, buddy. Well, at some point we had to expose ourselves to fight a little bit, so... Oh, they don't like me at all. No, they hate you, girl. Um... Aye, aye. Roger. 94. We're gonna take it. Attacking from position. Scored a critical hit. Oh. Warning. Armor breached. Internal damage. Yeah. Still my turn though. What are we down to? Seventy eight. He's got 70 in this side. Confirm the Warlord. Offensive push him. Going after this side. It's really low chances to hit, but we're still going to take them. Oh, well, there you go. Okay, then there was four. So we got two 80s and two 65s. Um waiting for orders. We're not pushing these guys. I want them to uh, come out in the open. Standing by. God, Mr. Krabs is so slow. Roger that. Full 
Okay. Let's see what these guys do. Um. Standing by. Let's move. Receiving you. Don't know about this. Don't know about this one. Okay, Jager Mech, LB5X's MMLs. This guy's the same. This guy's another Zeus X. Vigilance this. Yep. And we're just going to shoot this guy. I was thinking about doing an offensive push on him, but we don't really have that great a chance to hit, so. Just hit with what we can. Those LBs are doing way better than our uh, Pirate Ultra 2s. Let's get this done. Let's get it done. This guy just shot, right? We can do full damage on this guy. So we're gonna do it. Oh yeah, 200 and something damage, Are you kidding me? Got past the armor. I'm under heavy fire. It's okay, you're a Mr. Crab, man. Oh, man, you still got tons of armor left. Uh, so we're gonna do this. Acknowledge. Bang! You're dead. Enemy down. Affirmative. Okay. Yes, command. Close to now. Shoot me up a Zeus, please. Firing a full salvo. Okay, he's unsteady, so he's probably moving next. Oh, wait, no, I was... Oh, right. Yeah, I forgot about that. Um... Go for the torso hit, man. Crap. Those look like they hit, though. Nice. Then there was two.
Okay, let's start off with Hickory. Um, let's get you here. Our right side's pretty damaged, so we're gonna turn and face him. Dump the stuff straight into him. We got lots of ammo, ammo left, so. Okay, he's unsteady. Ow. Don't shoot that arm off. That's the AC arm. I gotta make sure the LRM arm survives. Oh, no, 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 no. Not arrow critical. Don't want the arrow crits. Why is it these Jager mechs have such good out loadouts? And I got garbage. It's got a regular engine too. Yeah, whatever. Commanda. Commanda. Not gonna move very far because we don't need to. Let's call this guy, eh? Yeah, I think we should switch to rack fives on that thing. Okay. Let's do this. Hopefully we just knock him down even too. Okay, that's good. Enemy mech destroyed. Standing by. Copy that. Let's get over there. Don't want that guy seeing us. Good to go. Let's see what we got here. Hatamoto Chi. Elite Scout Mac, eh? Well, let's do this. Good to go. It's gonna stay outside the woods. Better chance to hit. Let's see what these racks will do on this guy. Ah, not bad. Okay, fire everything on this guy. Another hit. All of our mediums go first. Just fire, probably knock him down. Or we can blow him up too. Next. There you go, guys. Five skulls. Mission successful. Okay, so that wasn't bad at all. 331,000. It's going to cost at least this probably to fix us. Right? Got some pens on this guy. I got to fix the arrow. A couple of torso pens on the Zeus. But considering the tonnage that we were facing, I think we did extremely well. And the fact that this Mr. Krabs guy has got, like, really bad damage output here. Alright, so we got three parts. Marauder 6As, guys. We got three of them. Right, we're at a point now where, oh, the Pirate Marauder even. What are the hard points on this? Five Ballistic, nine Laser, 
and on this guy it is two ballistic eight laser let's take the pirate one and see what we get out of this Zeus X parts tons of them look at that lots of other stuff down here but we're gonna go for chassis at the moment we get anything else hopefully we get some case too I'd like to have some of that there's so much good stuff here but we don't really need any of these other components right now we're gonna look for mechs because we're gonna be going against the, the uh, clans for the final episodes so we need to have lots of stuff lots of good stuff that is all right let's confirm this one two king crab parts one two three four five we definitely have a marauder two marauder two now looks like six one two three four five six Six, yeah, six parts. Zeus X part. LB AC5, not bad. And MRM20. Yeah, so this wasn't too bad. Alright, guys, there you go. Oh, it's the 6A we ended up getting, eh? Well, not too bad. Yeah, I knew we'd take 300 and some odd thousand in repairs, so that's fine. Let's just see what the days are now some of these mechs so let's manage them up here so the Zeus is going to take a month to fix so Mr. Krabs catapult let's put the new catapult up then and go this route let's close the actually you know what let's put the Jaeger mech let's just get that knocked off real quick do that um, so let's have a look at the mech bays now. So I think, sadly, I think that last mission we did with the Light Lance is probably the last mission we're going to do with them. So because we're running such a huge financial uh, um, deficit here, I'm going to start re re like putting the uh, our, our Light Lance away. So we're just going to do this real quick. If there's huge call for me to run another Light Lance, I will. But we're going to get plenty of that in the next episode when we first start. Um, there's going to be a lot of light, lighter uh, mech plays, so um, let's go with the heavier stuff for the rest of this uh, series. So pull these guys out of here. That'll give us a bunch of other stuff, like we got an NSS now that we can use on some of these guys too, right? So Okay, so let's look at a couple things here. First thing I want to do is I'll look at Router 6A. Oh, he's got reactive plating, but I don't think we get that, do we? Looks like it's redded out. Okay, so we didn't get much. Oh, we did get the reactive plating. 20% resistance against ballistic and missile attacks. Minus 10% against energy-based attacks. Which you can offset by having like a uh, um, DNI cockpit or whatever too, right? Oh, caseless ammo. Alright. That's a heat bank. It's kind of tiny. Standard heat bank, okay. Fusion Core 260, we'll leave that in. I'll take the reactive plating out for now. Pull up the case too. Okay, cool. Exchanger. So we did we did get some good stuff off this guy. So let's repair him. And confirm the 15 days and 481,000. Wow, it's just a lot. And then what we'll do is we'll go to our tasks and let's bring him up I want to get this guy up and running um, so we got let's bring uh, this guy up let's bring Mr. Krabs up and then let's bring this guy to the top catapult down right so he'll go catapult will go in right after the Agramex done and then these guys will follow up afterwards okay so let's do this so we can get this mar 2 outfitted and I want to have a look at the, the uh, crab again as well um, how long till financial report? 11 days. So I think what we'll do is we'll set up these mechs in the next beginning of the next episode. I might do them between episodes. I don't know because I want to um, save the episode times for fighting um, and have less building, I think. Um, if you guys have, an, have ideas for the builds, just drop it in the comment section down below. Um, I can always change it between episodes as we're getting stuff up and running like I did with the... Uh, the uh, King Crab tried out the rotary auto cannon 2 build. I think what we need to do with this guy is have a rotary auto cannon 5 build. 
uh, I think that would probably be, be, be better off. Um, so let's manage our tasks here. What do we got going? It's all the heavy guys. Yeah, I got mech. Okay, cool. So I can pull off another uh, milk run with the medium lance while we're uh, going between episodes. I'm if how you know I might be able to get two done before the financial report. Maybe, maybe these guys are back in a couple of days. So yeah, maybe depending on how much damage we take. But we do have a bunch of extra mechs in the mech bay, so we're we're pretty good, pretty well off. All right, guys, so I'm going to end the episode here. If you'd like to drop a like, please feel free to put some comments in the comment section down below if you have suggestions. That's great. Um, and until next time, we'll see everybody later.